What's up guys, it's Maxwell today with the best farming strategy in the world at Town Hall 9. So yeah guys, welcome to the video. Um, what is a good farming strategy and why do I think this is the best one? Um, if you have farmed a Town Hall 9 to max as I am doing right now, at some point in time you will realize that all you need is Dark Elixir pretty much. Um, and yeah, for that reason you definitely want to have the most uh, effective Dark Elixir farming strategy out there. And I really feel like I found it. You can already see my army a little bit. Uh, of course I'm gonna talk about that a bit later. But um, yeah, it's Queen Charge Baby Dragons as you can see. And uh, it's actually pretty fun to use as well. So um, the good thing is that you uh, are queen charging so you're also learning something for war. I think that this def definitely made me a lot better uh, of a queen walk or queen charge attacker. And um, yeah, it's just so fun to use as well. Has its downsides but uh, I'm gonna get to that a bit later as well. First let's focus on grabbing the Dark Elixir from this base and the air sweep is being really pesky here. But I think we should be good to go. Um, as you can see I'm just sprinkling in more and more funneling troops just to make sure that the Queen does not reroute. But at this point in time it's pretty much already over. We've got the Dark Elixir storage and we're gonna get the Town Hall as well. Oh wow the air defense is a bit annoying now. Um, I'm just gonna dump my troops here. I am gonna talk about why I do that as well. Um, Queen is gonna shoot the town hall, so yeah, we're good to go to um, leave this battle as soon as we need to. Whenever the Queen is gonna take damage, which is right about now, we're just gonna pop Queen ability. And the raid right there saved the Queen's health. We stole about 2700 Dark Elixir, and that's actually pretty solid uh, given the. Um, daytime that I'm farming it which is uh, in the morning right now Saturday morning um, I don't usually find the best bases um, in the morning so uh, yeah I'm really happy with that let's take a look at the army as you can see it costs 365,000 elixir and that's pretty much one of the downsides I've got six healers six baby dragons and four rage spells those are pretty expensive um, I've got some giants and wizards in there just to be a bit more flexible, be able to uh, yeah, have some different funneling troops and just air troops. And then 15 war breakers guys, no jump spell, no earthquake spells. Um, so yeah, that's maybe also one of the downsides because whenever you start with this army it can be a little bit tough to use. Um, but once you get used to it, it's actually pretty fun to have so many war breakers and to go for that. I'm gonna show you guys my attack lock just so you can get an indication of how much I'm stealing. Let's focus on the Dark Elixir because um, let's check out my progress base, guys. These are the things that I still have left to upgrade. So I've got a couple levels on my king, I've got one level on my queen, a couple levels on the mortars. Those are not very expensive, they are easy just to farm, like along with farming the other stuff. And then a bunch of walls, so. Um, yeah, walls obviously not that, that significant. This account is gonna stay a Town 9 account forever, so um, the walls are gonna max out at some point in time anyway. So, taking a look at that, uh, then the laboratory. Um, laboratory is almost maxed out. Goblins are going to max right now, they're gonna finish up today. Uh, only thing I still need is the earthquake spell that, of course, also costs Dark Elixir. And um, yeah, I've got three now two levels left on my king and one level left on my queen um so yeah dark elixir that's what it's all about let's go back to the attack lock so you can see um how much i'm stealing on average i would say my average steal just for the loot that i steal is about just over 2000 dark elixir maybe 2500 but then obviously i am in masters league so i'm also getting the nice uh, league bonus uh, of the masters league which definitely helps out as well. So it's all about gaining Dark Elixir fast and uh, as much as possible. As you can see, I'm not even using a Clan Castle. I don't even need my King for this one. That's what also makes it so much fun because you don't depend on your Clan or anything to um, donate your troops. And um, yeah, that's just really cool. I'm only attacking Town Hall 9. Sometimes I'm going for Town Hall 10s that don't have Inferno Towers. Um, that's of course also cool, but yeah, you really want to stay away from Inferno Towers, that's just trouble you don't need. At this point in time where uh, I 
yeah, don't find that awesome of bases. I'm pretty much going for everything that has uh, 2000 Dark Elixir or more. Um, we can actually go for this one. A lot of you guys probably struggle funneling these bases. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to take this base down uh, and get the Dark Elixir. So, um, we wanna start the Queen Walk somewhere, maybe over here. Doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, we're just gonna have the Queen walk one way. I don't really care which way she goes. We're gonna need to rage soon. Uh, well, we could use a poison spell, but maybe there's some surprise clan castle troops, so... I'm gonna use the rage for enemy Queen and uh, those two point defenses there. Well, actually, we would have had to rage because we've had two point defenses on us. Um, then we need to open up the wall to have the Queen go into this inner ring, which she's gonna do in a moment. There we go, Queen is in. And now as you can see the queen is going to move down here towards the enemy king. And how do we get her to the core? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, we are going to uh, make a funneling effort here. And we are going to clear the buildings ahead of her. For that we are just going to um, really spam our funneling troops. And just uh, bust through here as hard as possible. Then we are going to um, make an attempt to crack open the wall over here. And let's place a couple more baby dragons actually. And then the queen is gonna go to the core. So as you can see, by taking away the buildings ahead of her, um, I can make my queen go to the core. Ooh, clan castle balloons. That's not very nice. They're level seven as well. So yeah, by taking away those buildings that were standing over here, um, I made my queen go to the core. I'm actually gonna pop queen ability here because the balloons work definitely close to getting uh, bombs off onto my queen and we don't really want that. And yeah, by taking away the buildings in front of Queen, you are funneled to uh, able to funnel her towards the core, even on ring bases. So um, that can also, I guess, help you out a little bit for your war attacks. Of course, you don't funnel that heavy in war, but also you have more time to plan your war funneling. So we're actually probably gonna miss the last Dark Elixir drill here, because the Rage Spell was wearing off and I don't want my Queen to be damaged. Well, I guess we are okay. She's gonna take out the Expo on time. She's gonna heal back up. She's gonna take out the skelly traps now, the air skellies that are, yeah, molesting my healers. And, uh, yeah, we are gonna get the last Dark Elixir drill, so... Um, I'm actually really happy I found this base, just so that I could show you guys... Uh, how I can even funnel on these bases that are pretty tough to funnel otherwise. We're gonna end the raid right there. Not much other loot to gain it, yeah. Once again, over 3000 Dark Elixir. So, let's talk about the downsides. Um, I already showed you guys that this army costs 365,000 elixirs, so that obviously makes it really elixir heavy. For that reason, you either wanna attack bases that have a lot of elixir, or you wanna have a lot of elixir in your storage. So as you can see, I've got 4,100 dark, uh, 4 million and 100,000 dark elixir in my storages right now. For these last couple of raids, I definitely dropped elixir, but I don't care because my storage is so full. And um, yeah, that's something you've got to watch out for with this attack strategy. It is elixir heavy, so um, if you are very low on elixir, you probably want to do it a little bit differently, like bring less baby dragons or try to save your spells. Uh, I'm not really worried about that anymore. I'm right now just pushing as hard as I can for the last uh, yeah, 30,000 more dark elixir that I need. I'll be able to do that within the next boost um, to get the queen maxed out. So yeah, that's how I'm doing it. Uh, that's the army. And um, it's also a pretty quick building army as well, so if we go to training time here, it takes um, 29 minutes, spells take 27 minutes, so um, as I'm searching for bases for a little bit, I pretty much have an army ready whenever I, re I return to base, so that's also what makes it really fun. And I think I've talked enough about it now, we're gonna wait for one more army to be ready, we're gonna do one more life attack, try to catch an awesome one, and then we're gonna wrap up for today. Alright guys, let's wrap up with this base. 3000 Dark Elixir is the best I have found this morning, so let's see if we can take it down. Base looks sort of challenging, so I'm definitely interested. Um, obviously we get the first drill for free there, the second one's gonna be outside as well. It's all about getting the queen to the core for this one really, so let's see if we can do that. Um, we're gonna have to use a rage spell here for enemy queen. Ooh, our queen was so close to dying there. I'm um, gonna use a giant here for distraction and three wall breakers break open that wall. Baby dragon here, lava hound in the clan castle, that's interesting. 
just gonna slow down the queen for a bit. Um, not really a worry. Let's see, how do we wanna... I think I wanna get um, this drill out of the way already. Hopefully the wizard's gonna stay targeted to the drill. Yeah, it is. Okay, the drill is down. Uh, we're gonna use the poison spell now for the lava pups. Also have an archer help out here. Um, let's see, where's the... Ooh, how did we get so much damage onto queen there? That's a bit unfortunate. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to use a rage spell in the core because he has teslas there for sure. Um, I guess we gotta start funneling over here. Gonna need another rage spell for queen. Time for some good wall breakers, guys. We really need some good wall breakers now. Queen could step around the outside again. I hope she's gonna go core. Yeah, well, still. Are we gonna get the dark storage this way? I think we should actually. Let's hope we at least get the dark storage. Um, we are probably gonna miss the town hall. There's the Tesla that I talked about. Let's send. Uh, oh, I meant to send that baby dragon towards the core. That didn't really work out. So concentration not 100% up yet, but we're gonna get the dark elixir storage, and we're gonna miss the town hall for this monster. It should be about 500 dark elixir that we're missing. But hey, cannot always get it all. Still a good rate. 2,600 plus the leak bonus. Once again, over 3,000 dark elixir. Guys, I'm gonna farm the rest for my upgrade, and then I'm gonna start the queen pretty soon. Thank you for stopping by, watching my video, hope you learned something. I'm uh, positive this is the best Dark Galaxy farming strategy inside the game at Town Hall 9. So um, yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, until the next one, I will see you all later. Peace out.